What's going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Gentlemen, BGS Itmore put out a video recently called Woman's Wall Has a Price. And I looked up the particular article that he covered. And yeah, this article will never get pushed by the mainstream media. Why? Because it thoroughly shatters the illusion slash delusion that women can have it all. Now, before I go into this article, let me go ahead and share with you a quote from the esteemed economist named Mr. Thomas Sowell. There are no solutions. There are only trade-offs. And you try to get the best trade-off you can get. That's all you can hope for. We cannot achieve a perfect outcome. See, we as men, we understand this. There are no free lunches. If we want something, we have to make a negotiation and figure out what we're willing to trade for said thing. If we want money, we've got to trade time. If we want sexual access to a woman, what do we have to trade? Our four resources. Meat, as CGA put it, money, energy, attention, and time. There are no trade-offs beyond that. You're going to give up one of those if you want access to a woman. So yes, everything in life has a price. Now, this particular article was published on the 10th of January. It is very lengthy, so of course, I'm going to chop it down for time. Does a woman's biological clock have a price? Gentlemen, that question alone thoroughly confirms the reproductive wall. Research by Wharton's Corinne Lowe examines the economic trade-offs women face in balancing career and family timing and the need for more gender equitable policies. Oh yeah, ladies. Oh ho, ho, ho. yeah. Trade off. You can't have it all. No matter how much society whispers those sweet nothings into your ear and tell you what you want to hear to keep you consuming. For every year a woman ages, she must earn $7,000 more annually to remain equally attractive to potential romantic partners. According to new research from Wharton professor Corinne Lowe that calculates the economic trade-off for women between career and family investments. Well, well, well. <laughs> oh, what is that sound? That is the sound of those eggs just drying up. In two forthcoming papers, Lowe, a professor of business economics and public policy, reveals a look at quote unquote, reproductive capital, a term she uses to describe the economic value of fertility and thus the trade-offs that women make when they make time-consuming educational and career investments. Women, once again, 
You cannot have it all. You're going to have to make choices. In her first paper, quote unquote, pricing the biological clock, the marriage market costs of aging to women. Forthcoming at the Journal of Labor Economics, Lowe designed a unique online dating experiment to determine how both men and women fare in the market, in the marriage market, excuse me, as they get older and fertility declines. Okay, first and foremost, when it comes to us men, we should be taken out of this equation. Why? Because we don't have a biological clock. Every time there's always something that makes women look a little bit bad, they have to throw men into the equation too. No, 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 no. Even simp Steve Harvey told women, hey, you have a biological clock. We don't. So yes, gentlemen, you can wait it out. See, one of the greatest Jedi mind tricks that society pulled on men was to get us to think like women in regards to reproductive. Yeah, this is why so many men in our younger years tend to rush to get married. Why? Because we think, oh my God, we're not going to be able to reproduce at older ages like women. Wrong, wrong, wrong. You've had several, several men in their late 50s, hell, even their 60s, still produce viable offspring. Why? Because they went down to younger, fertile women. Oops! This is another advantage that we men have. See, this is a double standard that works in our favor. However, women want to try to do everything in their power to convince us that somehow something is wrong with us as older men who decide we want to be with younger women. Quote, unquote. You always hear people talking about the biological clock and how influential it is in women's life. Two words. Geriatric pregnancy. There you go. But what's missing from the literature is this idea that if men also want to start to have kids, then it isn't just a personal trade-off for women. It is an economic trade-off as well, she said. Once again, we men can wait and have children with younger women. Young men of today, do not look at your same age counterparts. The woman that's best for you is going to be behind you, younger than you. The generation behind you is where you should pick your mate, period, point blank. The experiment recruited real online daters who were asked to rate hypothetical profiles in which the photo was the same but the age and income varied. The participants were incentivized to be honest in their answers. The results found that both male and female participants valued a high income in a potential romantic partner. Bullshit. How many times have men thoroughly explained that they don't care about a woman's income. That is not something that men look forward to in their female mate. No, 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 no. Number one, cooperative. Number two, beautiful. Well, I'm not even going to say beautiful. Let me pull that back and say good looking. Cooperative, good looking. There you go. That right there is what men look for in their potential female partner. But there was a sharp contrast when it came to age preferences. Men were rated higher as they aged. 
while women were rated lower as they aged. That right there, the great balancing. As men get older and acquire more resources, guess what? The options that are available to said men increase. However, as women get older, guess what? The wall will claim them. So yeah, if a woman wants a man in her advanced age, guess what? She's going to have to pay. However, she still loses the main reason why that man would want to be with her, to have children. Oh yeah, this right here proves beyond a shadow of a doubt the reproductive wall is real. However, the preference for younger women was only among male daters who had no children and who were knowledgeable about female fertility declines. Based on their rating, for every year past 30, women had to make $7,000 more a year to stay in the romantic running for them. Let me reiterate, men want younger women. We do. We want younger women to start families with. See, this is why age gap dating, particularly in America, has always been a method to try to shame older men. Oh, you're a predator. Oh my God, I can't believe you. Even if the woman is of legal age and the man is older, people will still try to shame him. Uh, yeah, gentlemen, shame, yeah, don't let it affect you. If you want a woman who is younger of age, then guess what? Do you. Leave the moral authoritarians to their own devices. But if you can attract a younger woman, have at it, gentlemen, have at it, and do not feel ashamed. Why? Because these older women had their chance, and when they were younger, what did they do? They dated older men. So no, the whole age gap argument is nothing more than sour grapes from women who have thoroughly aged out. Quote, unquote, these findings indicate that men are also hear the ticking of the biological clock. Seeking to marry and have children, they naturally prefer more fertile partners. Lowe wrote in the paper. While Lowe's first study finds a $7,000 price tag on each year of marriage that is delayed, her second study, quote unquote, the human capital, reproductive capital, trade off in marriage market matching, forthcoming at the Journal of Political Economy models the real trade offs this consideration creates in women's school and career investments. Lowe, whose research focuses more broadly on diversity equity and inclusion said the two papers are part of her larger agenda to change how women are studied in economics and beyond. She wants society to value women as quote unquote economic agents and treat women's issues with the same weight as other serious topics. Whether or not to have children and when to have children is a fundamental decision. My, my, my. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. This is absolutely wonderful. Gentlemen, remember, time and patience. You don't have a biological clock. You can decide, you know what? I'm going to put my nose to the grindstone. 
I'm going to work. I'm going to build my resources. And then guess what? I can either find a woman here in, in America and go down and not be ashamed. Or guess what? I can go abroad and find a younger woman and still not be ashamed. Women do not have said option, which is another reason why they do everything in their power to shame, gas night, manipulate older men by saying, well, you should be with a woman, you know, that's your age. You can have things to talk about. Um, yeah, no, 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 mm-mm, mm-mm. Why would I want some old battle axe who's already bitter about her life? Because she didn't get what she believes she was entitled to. Um, yeah, no. But, gentlemen, this is a grand article. It truly is. So, read the full article. Let me know what you guys think. Hell, download it and share it. Anytime a woman talks about reproduction, you can simply say, well, guess what? Um, I guess you got to make more money to be in the romantic running. Uh, yeah, here you go. Guess what, ladies? You don't get to have it all. You've got to make some choices. And guess what? Hey, you're free to make choices. However, you're not free from the consequences of said choices, i.e., you want to focus on your career? Guess what the trade-off's going to be? The trade-off's going to be family. Yeah, this is why you're starting to see a lot of older women just have babies with any man who will have them. Nope, scratch that. Not that will have them, but who will, you know, skeet and skedaddle, which ironically goes back to the shortage of black male sperm in sperm banks. Oh, this is a very, very, very intricate web that has been woven. And guess what? Women are constantly being deceived by the system. But all in all, it is what it is. And women around the world, remember, the power will go out. Feminism will go out right along with it. And trust and believe, once that biological clock has finally counted down to zero, yeah, <laughs> there will be no more eggs left in your basket. And boom, there you go. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out.